Joining me on Fan TV after the 2-1 home defeat by the Milton Keynes Thunder, I've got Glenn Billing and I've got Robbie Ferrara. Um, we never, none of us came tonight expecting that kind of result. And two weeks running, we've dropped points against the the, the former NIHL sides. Credit to Milton Keynes tonight, but Robbie, um, that that's a disappointing result. All ends up. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't. I think the performance was wasn't a bad performance. I think obviously we had 70 shots, so we we couldn't have done too too many things wrong. But it's disappointing to be going away with just one point rather than the two. And I know that we talked off camera a moment or two ago, but I am going to ask you the question. We've played uh, three or four of the uh, former NIHL teams here in Peterborough. We've fallen goals behind uh, on, on each occasion. So I, I'm, I'm on a bound. I've got to ask you the question. Are, are we taking them too lightly? Are we are we we're slow out of the blocks? Um, I don't think it's a case of taking them lightly. I think we had a good start, a very good run to start the year. and. It almost felt at points where wins were just coming to us, even if we weren't necessarily playing well. And I think those goals aren't going in the last couple of weeks, which has led to us dropping points. Something we're trying to address is slow and start, because like you said, we have let in the first goal the last few games. So it's definitely something we're trying to work on and trying to get the jump um, back. But it's just one of them things. I think tonight the performance was there, just the goals didn't go in. And Glenn, uh, we lost obviously against the Raiders last week and a great result, and a great performance in Swindon. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a one step forward and another one back, isn't it, tonight with, the, with that defeat? Yeah, absolutely. As Robbie said, you know, I don't think we underestimated at all. I thought performance there, I thought we battled hard. Uh, you know, we fell asleep a couple of moments, but when you're pushing that hard, that happens. And you know, we outshot them heavily and it was, it was a frustrating night, to be honest. Um, we're not going to lie, we've got to find offense from somewhere. And, <laughs> we got to find a way to win at home. I mean, to be fair, I think we had offence in the sense that we, I understand we've had 70 shots on goal to, to 21. Um, d perhaps didn't move and it's, it's sufficiently, he's played a blinder, but I think on balance with that, with that possession and with those shots, we, we've got to move and we've got to, we've got to score. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, fair play to Anetti. He had a great game, you know, stopping 69 shots. That's, <laughs> that's incredible in, in any league. So, But, yeah, frustrating night, but we've got to find a way to get pucks, to, pucks in the net. You know, it's getting pucks in the net and getting pucks in is completely different things. And, Robbie, I, I know that the, the viewers will be thinking that that's, uh, there's a long way to go in the season, but the, these kind of results are harmful in the league, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. It's, it's a long, long season, a lot of games left. So I think other sort of EPL teams will drop points along the way. Um, so I don't think we should get too panicked by it. Well, obviously, we still have to play everybody again, so we can get them wins back. But losing a few times in a row, especially, it can be harmful come the end. If you lose by two points and then you look back and think, where have you dropped them points? So, um, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. But I, I think it's nothing's over. We've still got a lot of work, long way to go. No, no, absolutely not. I, I said the same to James last week. It, uh, a long season, lots of games, but it, it puts the, the onus now on the games, particularly the games on a, against Basingstoke and, and Bracknell and Swindon as well. So we get some relief from league action. It's Cup tomorrow night and, and Cup next weekend against Basingstoke. So thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next weekend. Cheers.